Hey, folks, it's Matt once again. Now I want to talk about a good film because I talked about some of those later Universal Soldier films like Universal Soldier Regeneration and Day of Reckoning. I'm not a fan of those. I'm not a fan of the stories. I'm not a fan of a lot of stuff. Now, this, on the other hand, good by Ringo Lamb, I do like. I think it has a pretty damn good story. Michael Rooker is a cop. He's looking for a serial killer, played by John Claude Van Damme, who I thought did a really good job with that. Then there's this project that makes a replicant, a genetic double of Van Damme. So Michael Rooker has to use his genetic double to find the real killer. And it goes through, okay, he doesn't trust this, because what if he's like a serial killer like Van Damme, treating him like a dog, then as the film goes on, he treats him a little bit better. Then you're wondering, okay, which side is the replicant going to be on? I thought this was a pretty damn good flick. It's a 5.3 which I on IMDb, which I feel is way too low. I did I really like Van Damme as a serial killer. I thought he played evil very well. Got long black hair. And I don't know, he reminds me of Keanu Reeves in The Watcher, but I thought Van Damme did a much better job with that. And I like Keanu Reeves, but I thought Van Damme did a much better job as a killer. And actually Keanu Reeves wasn't bad in the film. It just the script and such is a problem with that film. But I really like Van Damme. I mean, the beginning where he, this woman is crying and cowering and Van Damme goes, you're a bad mother. And just kicks her in the face and breaks her neck by kicking her in the face and kills her. And he takes pictures and sings this creepy lullaby and puts this baby in this crib. And he starts, I mean, imagine that. You put the baby in a crib and then three feet away, there's the dead mom and you light her on fire. <laughs> light the body on fire. Pretty crazy stuff, especially for a Van Damme movie. And Mark Rooker is a cop who's been chasing this killer. He goes and saves the baby. Which leads to a pretty good little, like, Ringo Lamb does a good job with action sequences. For example, he, Michael Rooker follows Van Damme to this bus, evil Van Damme. And Van Damme says, hey, you'll get, you guys get on the window and don't move, and he escapes. Michael Rooker's looking for him, he's being chased, Van Damme is in a car. Michael Rooker gets on the fence, and I thought this was nicely done. I'm sure this, there's some digital work. There is some digital work, but I thought it was pretty nicely done where the car hits the fence and you see Michael Rooker's character get hit and roll behind the back of the vehicle. And then Van Damme comes back and Rooker gets out of the way, but it hits his foot and his boot. And I thought Ringo Lamb really knows how to handle action scenes like that. Pretty well done. And Mark Rooker doesn't want to do it anymore. And he says some shit about Van Damme to the press. And again, I like evil Van Damme because he just gets pissed off. He's watching it and he just, there's this light hanging off. He just smashes the light with his arm. Because Rooker was talking shit. And he's calling Michael Rooker at, the, at this party he's having. And Van just giving him shit, just, you're a bad cop. I don't keep on killing, asshole. You're a real loser. I work and go, hey, fuck you, you fucking prick. I'm trying to, I'm going to track you down like a fucking dog. Michael Rooker, before I get into more, I over, I've always enjoyed him as an actor. He makes a great bad guy in films a la Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. He's also a really good, good guy in films like Cliffhanger, even this film does a good job. And Michael Rooker, he was in Guardians of the Galaxy, he was in Slither, he was in Mallrats, I know he's going to be in Mallrats too. Michael Rooker always does a really good job. Really underrated actor. It was so it's cool to see him in this film. And Van Damme playing two roles, two very different roles, an evil serial killer who obviously had mommy issues. And also, but also, I say that, but it's not in a, they don't do it in a laughable way. Which I thought was the right choice. They didn't do it with him just crying. Ooh, mama. They didn't do that, which was great. 
Like, he played a really good bad guy. But then also the genetic double, the replicant, and yeah, completely different performance. So people who say Van Damme can't act, they need to see this film. Because he plays two roles, two very different roles, and I thought he did great in both of them. Then this government agency takes Michael Rooker, and they realize he realizes they made this replicant, this genetic double, to help track down this killer. And it's this, the project is a secret, so they can't really say much about it. They're training the replicant how to sit, how to stand. He's doing the splits, gymnastics, things like that. Again, another good Van Damme performance, like when he's brought in the food and he's guarding it like a dog, and he's lost, has that lost look on his face, and Michael Rooker handcuffs him to the desk. And like a dog, like a trapped dog, he just gets pissed, just tears the damn thing right off the wall. And it's the analogy that he's sort of like a dog. You treat a dog bad, it's going to act bad. You treat a dog well, it's going to be loyal. I, I like that idea. And again, Michael Rooker at the beginning does treat the replicant like shit. Even just to the point where he threatens him, then gives him the gun, and then some agents come in, and Van Damme gets chased around, and you realize that Mark Rooker gave him an empty gun. There's a moment where Van Damme's in the back of the cop car, and he's just imitating what he's seen. Van Damme goes, drop the gun, and Rooker just smashes the cage that separates between them. To tell Van Damme to shut up. Showing places where the killer hit his targets at. And again, this replicant Van Damme, he doesn't know the rain, so he's enjoying the rain, and Rooker's tutting him, shows him the place, and Van Damme gets these flashbacks of his kill that happened in his bathroom. I like the way it's done. Like you see a little bit of the flashback, and then you see Rooker come into fr frame, and it devolves and goes into Michael Rooker's face to the present time. So I thought it had some nice little tricks of the, I don't want to say camera, but tricks of visual style to it. I mean, just to a point where he takes him to his place, Rooker's place, who had, Rooker has a kid, and kid's actually pretty decent. He's not annoying at all, and Rooker has a wife, and he handcuffs Van Damme to this place right by the dog food, and he doesn't know what it is. He's eating it, and the kid going, oh, no, that's gross. You don't want to eat that, and gives him some, like, an ice cream bar, and I, even Van Damme does a good job acting, just takes it and eats it like this, like this is good, and then Rooker hears his kid scream, so automatically he thinks, okay, this is a clone of a killer, maybe he did something to my son, so he's beating the fuck out of him, but then even the kid and the wife says, no wait, it's the dog, the dog did something, not the replicant, and of course Rooker you get a little bit on his face that he kind of feels a bit bad about it. And then Van Damme does a good job saying, it's Jake, Jake, stop, Jake. That's Rooker's character. Like, Jake, stop. Even to a point where Rooker wants to give the guy back to the agency, but the agency fucks around with him. And again, he has some nice bits of humor where Rooker gives the middle finger, and then Van Damme watches and copies and gives the middle finger, and then Rooker sort of puts his arm down. And then even Rooker's mom says, hey, you know, you treat someone bad, they're going to act bad, they're going to be bad. So he starts being nice. He gives Van Damme, the replicant, a blanket and makes him a pillow. And this is when he starts treating him nice. It would have been nice to have a bit more scenes of Rooker treating Van Damme nice. I mean, you do get a little bit more, like, lets him ride in the front seat of the car this time, gets him some ice cream, things of that nature. But I would like a bit more scenes of that. So the transition is a bit smoother. That's just my little take on it. Still pretty decent. 
And I like Evil Van Damme. When it comes to Evil Van Damme, Evil Van Damme in this movie is fun. I mean, there's this woman who tells her kid that he's a bad boy. He grabs her, and then this random guy in her car says, Hey, what's going on? And Van Evil Van Damme just kicks him in the face through the window of the car. Then another guy comes, he just kicks him. She runs, he chases chases her through his kitchen, all these guys, cooks come at him, and he's just kicking this guy, punching this guy, throwing this guy, Roundhouse kicking this guy, takes a bit of grease and burns the, the woman on the cheek. Just evil Van Damme, just fun, just doesn't give a fuck, just will kick anybody's ass who's in his way. Um, and pretty much, one thing leads to another, they find where evil Van Damme was at, And the replicant knows something's wrong and gets up and warns them. They get out of there just in time. Good practical explosion. And the replicant sees the evil Van Damme and chases him into this bar. And they get him pretty much gets his ass kit by evil Van Damme. I did. Just evil Van Damme's fun. There's another guy and who's by the bar. The owner of the bar wants to call. And evil Van Damme just kicks him. There's all this glass just punches it and throws it. The taste of phone just throws at him and goes, no more phone calls. And the taste of gun just shoots some bone. Again, this evil Van Damme doesn't fuck around. It pretty much leads to them going their separate ways and the replicant doesn't know where he needs to go and finds his hooker but doesn't know that she's a hooker and says he doesn't understand and then she realizes, oh, what is your first time? Then these, I don't know if you call them pimps, thugs, try to rough him up. Where's the money? Why don't you pay her? And this replicant doesn't know what they're talking about. Just beats the fuck out of him, and then they beat the girl, and Van Damme comes to arrest you, and just, it's not tons of choreographed fights, but it's more of a roughhousing, but still pretty decent, throwing the guy down the stairs, kicks the guy. Then Rooker is able to get there and calm him down. And jumping a little bit ahead, some other stuff happens and gets to the evil Van Damme sees his mom in the hospital. And you know, I like this guy when he plays his characters like, no more. You bitch. He just kills her. You realize that he's killed her. I and mean, you get a little bit of the backstory where, he, when he was a little kid, the mom had put him in a clo like put him in a closet and tried to burn the whole place down, and he was able to escape and, and again kind of a fucked up childhood. And Rooker takes the rubber into the hospital, and pretty much the evil Van Dam gets the drop on them, beats the fuck out of Michael Rooker. And even the replicant says, you're a bad boy, Luke Savar. You killed Mama. And the evil Van Damme's like, yeah, you're right. And so what? Felt good. You bitch! He just shoots the dead body. And then they're able, him and Rooker are able to fight Van Damme. And the way they go back and forth with the Van Damme doubles, because he can't be two places at once, is very well done. Anytime you see... It's okay, that's Van Damme's face. Oh, okay, that's Van Damme's face. They do a good job with that. They really do a good job editing with that. Again, that has to be hard to do where these two are going to struggle and it's the same guy who's going to play both roles. Good job editing. And even Michael Rooker is able to get some good uh, little bits of fisticuffs in there. And then you get into this once again, Evil Van Damme being fun, just going through the hospital. Even takes a guy in a wheelchair and just pushes him in front of another guy. Here's a girl, here's a woman, just tips her in the stomach, throws, beats up these cops, hits one cop who goes through this window, throws another guy through that window, and Rooker chases him. You get an excellent car chase, where Michael Rooker does some of the stunts and some pretty damn good stunts as well. It shows that even directed video action scenes can be pretty damn good. And low budget films can have pretty damn good chase scenes and action scenes. And practical as well. 
Because Van Damme gets in an ambulance, the evil Van Damme, and Rutger gets on the door, and he's hanging off the door, and is barely scraping by pillars, and even to this row of cars where a lot of his Michael Rutger, you see a close shot of Rutger hanging off the side of the ambulance with cars underneath him and sparks going on. It's really Michael Rutger, you see certain scenes. Really good stunt work. And Rutger did a really good job with it as well. And getting in and fighting Van Damme. And it's bouncing so high, it's breaking the lights of the, the roof of the garage. Pew, pew. Even get to a point where then it crashes and flips and... Really good action sequence. Damn good. I did see this in a big budget movie, but for a low budget directed video film, I thought Randall Lamb did a great job shooting this thing. Really good practical effects. Practical stunt work, I should say, and really nicely done. Rooker chases him, he beats up Rooker, tries to burn him, and the replicant gets there. They get in a fight. Decent fight. I mean not one of Van Damme's best fights, but it's alright. Rutgers able to shoot the evil Van Dam and says, hey, we need to get out of there. The Rubicon pushes Rutger, closes the door on himself. The place is going to blow up, and you get the idea that he hid in one of the, kind of like a morgue. So he hid in one of those steel, where you put the bodies in, I forget what you call steel drawers. Place blows up. I guess he wanted to fake his own death so that they think he's dead and no one's chasing him anymore. And then nice little scene at the end where Rooker's sad and then sees outside that someone's by his mailbox and he's left a gift and he knows that the guy's alive. Hanging out there with it. Rooker's hanging out there with his son. And then Van Damme actually goes back to that woman that hooker and she likes the fact that he stood up for her and This is a damn good movie. I know I've been going, I've been pretty much talking about the plot, but I do that because I want to get to points that I like about the film. Certain scenes I want to explain that I would just show if Copper wasn't such a bitch. I find, granted, there's a part of me that would like to have seen the movie where it was just an evil serial killer Van Damme versus good guy Michael Rooker without the replicant stuff. If it was just those two going head to head throughout the entire movie. But, I still really like the film. I don't really have much problems with it. It's a really interesting story. You know, the it's still a really interesting story. Van Damme does a great job in both roles. He's a lot of fun as a serial killer. I know that's weird to say, but being a big George Van Damme fan, it's nice to see him play that kind of role. He does a really good job with the re the replicant as well. I don't really know where this picture is from. His Van Dam never looks like this in either roles of the movie. I mean, he either looks like this, or he looks like this. But I don't know what this is from. He never looks like this in the movie. So I don't know what the hell that picture is from. And this is, to be honest, this is a shitty cover. I gotta be honest, that's a shitty cover. It doesn't really make you want to see the movie with a shitty cover like that. This could use a better cover. I mean, that doesn't really sell a movie. But I thought it was a damn good movie. I thought it was well-paced. I thought the story was interesting. Michael Worker was really good. And there probably comes to a point where you kind of feel like Michael Rooker is an asshole because he's treating this replicant like shit. That's why I would have liked a little bit more of him sort of acting good with the replicant. I just think him as like, okay, this is a serial killer that he's been chasing and he's wondering if this guy is going to turn on him or start killing as well. And But that's why I would have liked a little bit more of him treating the replicant well. To make that transition a bit smoother. But yeah, the Van, when Van Damme is a serial killer, those scenes are really cool to watch. Michael Rooker still gave a good acting performance. It's I wouldn't call it, I guess you wouldn't call it an action film, because it's not wall to wall action, but when the action's there, it's pretty well done. Especially that ambulance chase at the end. You don't have a lot of fisticuffs, but you get a little bit of 
serial kill Van Damme just fuck up random people. I just I was entertained by the movie because I liked the story. I liked the story. I liked the seeing Van Damme play these two roles. I thought I did a really good job acting wise. I know the gymnastic parts. It was not Van Damme because I don't think he can do those gymnastic stuff. It was a double. But still, when they show like Van Damme versus Van Damme and when two of them in the same room, some nice editing between the two. Again, I know I'm repeating myself. Some pretty decent action scenes like the ambulance chase. I really like the story. I thought Van Damme played both roles very well. And I like Michael Rooker, so it was nice to see him as a lead, you know, good guy cop. I thought Randall Lamb did a pretty good job directing this, so I think this is definitely one of Van Damme's better movies. A fuck little better than Regeneration and Day of Reckoning. I think this gets a lower rating than either of them, which is bullshit. I think this gets a little rain than Regeneration Day Reckoning. I think this is a much better movie. It was a much more interesting story. And definitely much better acting performances by Van Damme. And he is actually the star of the movie as well. But that's just my opinion. But either way, thanks for watching. Take care. And we will see you later. Bye-bye.